the water me. I haven't got a lot of sleep. I'm grinding till the death of me. For me, my fans are homies and my family especially. Bigger than you think. Yeah, bigger than you dream. Yeah, bigger than the average mind believes that they can be. Woo. Me, I cop connects like I was switching from the we. It's Benjamin and hip hop. we just sitting in a tree. If I ever leave, I'ma leave you something better than the world before me. Heading after me with fucking treasure. If you like my music, get it. I'm the man to hustle pleasures. If you don't, I'll raise my hand to show a motherfucking gesture. Nonetheless, I'm in this bitch coming consistent with the truth. And they can know the name of Benjamin. I detonate the booth. You can try denying it, but you know it's the truth. And when I spit, it's like I'm handling the caliber. I shoot. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I'm like a four or five. You just do the show and I'ma take you for a joy ride. Benjamin's a soldier. You're a witness to my war pride. Drowning all the Nemo's. I'ma spit until your boy dies. Call me what you want, but what I do will prove I'm spot on. Climbing for the top. I'm moving smooth. I got my glide on. Pull the pin. I'm at the crates. I'm in the bunker with my mic on. But my time is here to blow up. I'm just hip hop ticket time bomb. Yes. Yes, the second time. And uh, it looks like Benjamin is on the line, right? That's what you just told me, right? Yeah. So let's bring him. Hello? Area code 60. Hey, Hi, Benjamin. How are you doing? We like your song. We played it all on the radio station, too. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. This is the first time we've had it. Yes. Um, where are you from? You know, how old are you? You know, the whole thing. Let's go. Yeah, man. I'm from Southern Wisconsin. Just trying to do my thing, man. You know. Uh huh. And this is your little song. Uh, you just uh, I sent it the other day randomly, and I was just like, "This is a cool song." So I was, since we have the show, I wanted to to give you, you know, like. Uh, a shout and uh, this is your platform. What have you What have you been up to? Uh, you have been traveling for for your music. And how old are you, by the way? Uh, I just turned 18 this past March. I released my first track in March. Uh, I'm about to leave for tour early spring with Trey Mob Records. Shout out to Trey Mob Records, Ted Park, and all my independent artists grinding. Man, shout out to y'all for playing my track. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Of course. Of course. Yeah. We 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 love that. See, that's the. Uh, we, we, this is refreshing. To say the least, you know, that to, to, to have uh, you on, you know, early on Sunday and uh, see that you're on your grind and that you're sharing the music, you know, out there. Uh, there is a podcast for that, so for anybody not listening right now, it's going to be on rotation of this week. So this is, uh, this is uh, always good to have some cool music in the morning. So where did you say that uh, your band can uh, see you? Um, I said I'm on YouTube. I got all my music up on YouTube. Uh, I mean, I share all my stuff on my Facebook page, my Twitter, you know, at Michaels underscore 95, Facebook, Benjamin Michaels, or YouTube. Just type in Benjamin Michaels and you'll find me there. Okay. Excellent, excellent. And you're going on the tour. So you're an independent artist. How do you... How did you uh, get hooked up with the tour? I don't know uh, it is a, a, it's not that easy, you know, I, 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 for, for what I've seen, you know, to get that uh, ball rolling out there. So how do you go about it? And you're just 18, you just turned 18. How do you do that? You do that on your own, you have a team. So what's going on there? Uh, I'm just a solo artist. I do it by myself, man. I just... I just grind my, I just grind hard as I can, man. You know, just put in as much work as I can. I look for, I look for venues that'll play my music and let me perform there, and then I just do my thing. You know, Trey my records and I will be touring in the Midwest in uh, early spring. Can't wait for that, man. We're about to turn up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is a, this is a good look. This is definitely a good look, and I think this is uh, uh, inspiring for any artist out there. You know. If you believe in uh, what you're doing, uh, people will notice you. I, I, you know, I, I don't know you. This is the first time that I talk to you on the phone. Uh, and, uh, and your music, uh, just speak for yourself, represent you well. So we're definitely going to continue playing it. And thank you so much for calling. If you have anything else that you want to plug, go ahead. Like the platform is for you right now. I got a question. 
Uh, What's that? Okay. Benjamin, uh, uh, I see that you're working on a hosting your first mixtape. How's that coming along? Yeah. I'm coming along very well. I'm going to drop a promotional mixtape with some of the artists I've been working with, some of the upcoming artists in Wisconsin and around the country. Mm-hmm. And then I'm dropping my own mixtape on my birthday, which will be a year anniversary since I've been doing this stuff. So, I mean, every track is shaping up real well. Progress every single track I do, so it's going to be a real good project. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look for Robin yeah, Lynn and, and Vibes. Look for Robin Lynn and Vibes Live. We'll be following along after you uh, uh, in, in support and be giving you as mm-hmm. much uh, radio airplay as we can. And so uh, when you see me out there, just say hi. <laughs> All right. Well, I, and the music will get played, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. When you come to Vibes Live, you will get played. And so if you don't feel like playing, don't come to Vibes Live because you get played and then you'll be mad if you don't feel like playing because you're going to get played at Vibes Live. Yes. No, I sound good. I appreciate it. Um, who am I speaking with so I know who to contact and thanks for this interview? Robin Lynn. Well, and Johnny. Robin Lynn and you can see the Johnny. You know, this is refreshing stuff. Yes. I would say, you know, it's a link so you can like our page and, and see us on, on Twitter. Yes. And we'll be pushing your music and also add it to our tweets, you yes. know, for YouTube. So just keep an eye on that. So we know where to find you. Okay, yeah. so everything is good. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all take care. All right. Thanks for this interview. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Take care, guys. Jami, Jami, I have to stop. I have to stop. I have to stop and kiss you. <laughs> okay. What's amazing? Yes, it is. Amazing. Why, why would you? Why would you kiss me? This is so amazing to see yes. how people. Throw themselves out, believe in their dreams, yes. and make it happen. And yes. he's the proof of that. And I want to follow him, you know. Um, I mean, he found me on Facebook uh, mm-hmm. at one point, but a lot of people see me on Facebook and they don't do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, they just see you and uh, they say something and then it's over. Mm-hmm. This guy follows up, you know, he sends his updates, and I find that very good because this is what it's all about you know you have to uh, put yourself out there let people know that you exist and show them that you're making efforts uh-huh. you know so you, you see you know you see some photo of him on stage mm-hmm. or the behind the scenes mm-hmm. the whole thing you know and 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 i was like oh well this guy looks like he has his all thing together maybe mm-hmm. he gets some you know some people pushing him even though he's independent yeah. and and no you know this is something that he just dreams about and that he want to do and he keeps on, on pushing i mean 18 what he's just like out of high school or something you yeah know? and i'm looking in his in his bio and it said, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, after releasing his first three tracks, he managed to start a solid foundation for himself through networking and social media sites. Yeah. And and well, uh, you, I know you're gonna love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he continues to build a fan base and a network of up and coming artists. Yes, social yeah, media. Yeah, social own, media. Yeah. Social media. You. Uh, out there, and if you're waiting for a record deal to drop on uh, your head, it's not going to happen. Wake up. There is a million and 500,000 people doing the same thing, waiting like you do. Yeah. Just like people who think that they can buy their way into modeling, it's not going to happen. Yes, they will take your money, but that's it. Yeah. All the elements out there now, through a social networking and through um, doing what the other are doing, you know, like you have to do these people in the major. Mm-hmm. They use the same tool that you can use now. It used to be a time where you could not do what those uh, uh, artists, yes. uh, as, you know, what they had access to. Yeah. It was only, you know, like uh, the major network, and that was it. If you were not on one of those platforms, that's it. But this is an illusion to think that in order for you to be successful, you have to be on a major network. If you build enough of, of, of a base, these networks actually will call you. Mm-hmm. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. That's how people either kill me right now, you know, but that's how people uh, um, 
shaved down, tried down Justin Bieber and, and gave, him, him the, gave him the world because he had so many views. You see, the only thing he said that he had is the YouTube. He didn't say, I have uh, this and that and those. I don't even think that he had a website. I think he might have a website, but the only thing he talked about, right, was his YouTube. Right? You can find my music on YouTube. Uh, am I correct? Yeah. Yes. And this is very powerful. Uh, YouTube is not just a place where you can play video. It is a social network. I know you don't know that. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, uh, on YouTube, you, it, this is a platform within a platform, yeah, that you can just go to YouTube and just play video. You can interact with people on YouTube, exchange, message, etc., etc. And the more you do that, the more Google, through, uh, via YouTube, will give you play and rank your video well. Yeah. Do not sleep on the power of YouTube. If you want to record deal, it has been done. I think Justin Timberlake uh, found, uh, found one of his artists uh, there, or went after an artist there, mm-hmm. because he saw him on YouTube or her on YouTube, and signed them. I don't know the, the, the specific of that, but I know that it happens mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. Keep on working. Do not just put a mixtape or a video thinking that all that's all that matters. You have to put yourself out there and create a found base. Yeah. This is essential. I know so many people out there that have great music and it's just like those, you know, who have those websites and nobody can find them. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you are if you do not do that uh, social networking and Getting to uh, yeah, <clears throat> build your fan base. Mm-hmm. Those people that you want to attract will not find you mm-hmm. because they just don't know you exist. So now you cannot knock yourself uh, out and, and, and hit your ear, you know, uh, and, and, and blame the world because you're so good and nobody knows about it or you, you don't get a deal. And this guy that maybe is, is not as good as you already got one, but. Do you look at their fan base? Do you look at the, the, the views that they get because of the circulation, constant circulation of their video via social network? Mm-hmm. Do you see the interaction with the, with the fans? I don't know this guy, but I, I see that he has a lot of fans and I see that he's consistent with promoting his music. Yes. And I see that he's not really thinking more, he is doing it regardless of the big major calling or not, he's going to be out there, you, you can take that as a, as a guarantee, he didn't say, well, you know, I may go on the tour if somebody is calling me for that, he said, I'm going, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, and I'm planning this, you know, with uh, my other artists, he already has other people under him. This is great. We're going to be talking to him again. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see what's going on. So I think it's time to give a. a uh, like I that. think it's time to give a shout out to our sponsor. You want to give a shout out to Manlo Brand, please. Well, Manlo Brand is uh, definitely, you know, the the new way of uh, the American dream. Okay, uh, a famous uh, designer for that brand, mm-hmm. a friend of mine, and, and I know him very well, but he was probably the most unlikely person to come up with a, with a, with a line. And when you see the design, when you see what he has coming for you, this is only, uh, how can I describe that? Hmm. Well, it is hard to repeat. It's just like a cupcake or candies. You know, you, you have them in front of you, and you'd be like, I'm just making an exception to this. <laughs> I'm just going to get a t-shirt or a hat. <laughs> this is that good. The fabric, everything is good about it. I mean, I have um, a few uh, items myself already, and this is like exclusive. It's going to be in store uh, this spring. I believe that there is a fashion show during a Methodist Band Fashion Week in New York. Mm. So uh, definitely go and follow at uh, Manlo Brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, you find the same on uh, Instagram uh, at Manlo and on Facebook at Manlo Brand as well. 
All right, so thank you to our sponsor. Thank you to my beautiful producer. And uh, we'll see you next week with Fashion Star with a new guest, a friend, a little bit of writing, a lot of things that please me. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on with anything, right? Yeah, yes. We're just about done today. Yeah, excellent, excellent show, excellent show. I sat and watched it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it past. It's uh, it, it's always you know amazing. You know, like uh, our time flies when you don't have all time. Mm-hmm. You see, you can't you can't be too comfortable here. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad for all the guests and thank you for uh, warm again uh, for coming. And that that gave us like a great opportunity to to. Um, Mm-hmm. To put out the, you know, like the, the vibration, the energy that uh, anyone can have, you know, Rome did it, you can do it, you can do it today, you can do it at any time, yes. but you need to have a dream, even if it starts with as a joke, even if it starts just as an idea. Yeah. This is what's so inspiring about people going out there and following their dreams. Wow. And repression style, we continue to bring inspiring, you know, uh, people, girls, guys, uh, you don't need to be uh, huge, you can just have been started yesterday, as long as you have that drive, we want to hear from you, we want to see you, and go uh, like that page, Fresh and st- Refresh and Style, mm-hmm. that's the end, Refresh and Style on Facebook, alright, so uh, share and like, this is like giving, alright, so I'm out. Okay. I, I want to do, I, I'm going to ice skating. You coming with me? I'm, you, I'm coming I'm going with to ice skating to River, Bank, um, uh, to River, Bank, uh, River, uh, River Park uh, Bank. That's just across the street from where I am right now. So I'm going to do some ice skating after I'm done with the show. Oh, that's awesome. Well, here you go, everyone. Refreshing style with Dijami and me, Robin Lynn, in the background somewhere, waving hi. We're here every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, uh, that's 8 a.m. Pacific. So we'll see everyone next week. Have a great week. And I'll see you later, Dijami. <laughs> we love you. Love you, too. Bye, Bye everyone. Now, let me ask you, what is, you know, um, what's been one of your worst, one of the worst experiences you faced as an actress? And, um, and how did you bounce back from it? Or what did you learn from it? Worst experience I faced? Oh, man, I have a couple. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, first of all, let me start by saying that I, I have been very, very fortunate. So I can't, I, I don't have horrible experiences. I have experiences that were highly embarrassing. Like when my wig fell off on Wild and Out, that was really, really embarrassing, and I just wanted to disappear and hide and die, and, but I couldn't. Um, but I think probably one of the uh, second season of Wild and Out, um, you know, my, my husband Joshua was hired as the improv coach on Wild and Out, and he gets a phone call, you know, we, we have a meeting, so, you know, come on in for this meeting for Wild and Out, and he goes to this meeting, and he comes home, and he says, Hey, um, uh, it wasn't a meeting, it was an audition, and we were auditioning your replacement. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you're, you're a replacement for the show. You know, it's it hurtful for him to tell me this. Yeah. But it turned out that Nick had decided that he didn't want me back because he thought I was too old mm. to improvise. And I think that was one of the, 
like hardest hitting thing because it was, you know, first of all, you have to be a certain age to be able to improvise because you have to be at least 21 to get into the improv or comedy club. Yeah. Um, and now, now it, it turned out, you know, that I, I felt horrible about it for about two to three weeks and then right before they started taping, I got a phone call saying, yeah, Nick made a mistake and he wants you to come back. They realize that they actually need you and it's not about, you know, how old someone looks or whatever. But that definitely was a just a, a blow of a like, ooh, gosh, it's not really about talent. It's about uh, appearance, I guess, or oh. I, I don't really know what it was about. But they certainly didn't find anybody to replace me. Because uh, <laughs> you, you, you were like, because you were like, even though Nick is Nick's Cannon's show, uh, I felt like you were like like the star, like one of the stars of it, you know. <laughs> And, uh, and I, I remember those skits where you and Spanky Hayes and he... he uh, that's my boy, Spanky. <laughs> that's Detroit right there. I love Spanky Hayes. Yeah, and he, he used to play, yeah. play, play, play your yeah, set. Yeah, I mean, it was a blast being on the show. You know, for, for guys, it doesn't matter their age. Yeah. For women, apparently, it does. You yeah. know. Uh, so that was just a, one of those, I, you know, one of those weird... And probably that and then the yes and thing when my manager said, no, I've got, you know, I've got somebody else I'm quitting instead of you. That kind of hurt, too. Mm. You're my manager? For more great interviews such as this one, download and install the Giant Blast mobile device app for free uh, in the information box below. If you want to listen to the full interview with Naima Funk, then click the link in the information box below. This is just some guy named Jay, and you've been listening to the SNL Fan Podcast on Too Good for Radio.
perfection is a reflection of a man's deception. Me and the beat have a connection and they call it perfection. Every time you hear some, your eardrums get an erection. For so long, it's so wrong, so this song is the correction. Most of these dudes fall victim to the game, but my hunger won't. Men lie, women lie, fam, but these numbers don't. My style, I give you faith in my bars, provide the hope. I'm a lyrical visionary and my vision's in kaleidoscope. Most of these rappers in the game are a bunch of phony rockers. This while you can jump a two facing homie hoppers. The visual, critical, physical, spiritual, biblical is all mythical. They're here to get rid of you. The Pope spills a chalice of great wine and breaks lines. They don't waste time. With a bond to face time. Nationwide random shootings increasing the hate crime. We're martial law for all being the only escape line. So much great.